Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, ang gidiscuss ko po sa inyo ay isa sa mga most requested topics sa mga comments. At ito po ay walang iba kundi ang 5 basic sentence pattern. But before that, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, click the notification bell, and then share na rin also para bongga. Well, our topic today is about five basic sentence patterns. And the first one is SLBC, where is stands for subject. Ang ibig sabihin ng S ay subject. LV stands for linking verb. And C stands for complement. Okay. First example. He is honest. Our subject here is he. he is our subject. Ang linking verb ay is. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, is. This is our linking verb. And our complement is honest. This is our complement. Now, pag sinabi natin complement, it adds additional information. Nagdadagdag ng karagdagang information tungkol sa subject. Walang ibang role ang linking verb kundi i-connect. Itong subject complement na tumutukoy sa subject. Linking verb is not an action verb. Hindi siya action. Hindi siya na, uh, nagbibigay ng action. Rather, ang kanyang papel ay magdugtong uh, ng subject papunta rin sa complement na siyang nag-describe o nagdagdag ng uh, informasyon tungkol sa subject. Okay. Next example, she looks crazy. Ang ating subject ay she, linking verb is looks, and our complement is crazy. This is our complement. Now again, ang looks dito ay hindi action verb. Ito ay linking verb. By the way, karamihan kasi sa mga linking verb, yung pangkaraniwa ay yung verb na be. Yung is, are, was, were. Yun yun. Pero ito, looks. Kung minsan ito ay nagiging action verb, nagiging linking verb din. Depende sa gamit sa sentence. In this case, ang gamit niya ay linking verb. Paano natin malalaman na ito ay linking verb? Doon sa isang video, idinaskis ko sa inyo na kapag ito ay panilitan mo ng S yan ha, ito, panilitan mo ng S at hindi na bago ang meaning ibig sabihin ito ay mapapil na linking verb kapag nagbago naman ang kahulugan ang idea sentence ang looks ay nagiging accent verb well in this case, she is crazy nothing is changed in the sentence. Walang nabago. So, ito ay linking verb. At itong crazy, siya ang ating complement. What kind of complement? Ang tawag dito ay subjective complement or subject complement. Kasi, siya ay nag-describe dito sa subject na she. Nagbibigay ng additional information tungkol dito sa subject. Okay, next example. Louis became a teacher. Now, ito ang ating subject, ang became, ang ating linking verb, and then, teacher, this is our complement. Dito, crazy, ito ay uh, adjective. Okay. Ito ay adjective na nagdi-describe dito sa she. Pero dito ngayon, hindi na siya adjective. Ito ay noun. Ibig sabihin, pag ang complement ay pwedeng maging adjective, pwede rin maging noun. As long as it describes the subject. So, 
Dahil ito ay tumutukoy sa subject, nagbibigay ng additional information dito sa subject, then, ito ay makukonsider natin na complement. Pag sinabi natin complement, kinukompleto niya ang idea sa sentence. Dito, nakumplito. Si Luis, Luis became a teacher. Kompleto na. And also, ito, para natin mas siguro na siya ay linking verb, papalatan din natin ang is. And then, read the sentence. Luis is a teacher. Nothing is changed. Walang nabago. So, ang became dito ay talagang linking verb. Alright. Next example. Alright. And our next example, I mean, next uh, sentence pattern is STD DO. Where S stands for subject, TV stands for transitive verb, and DO stands for direct object. Now, in our first example, Brenda bakes a cake. Our subject is Brenda. This is our subject. And bakes is our transitive verb. Ito ang ating transitive verb. TV. And direct object is cake. Now, how would we know if this is our direct object? Paano natin malalaman na ito yung direct object? By the way, Unahin natin dito sa verb. Ang verb na bakes ay action verb. At pag tinanong natin, Brenda bakes what? Meron tayong answer. Ang answer ay K. Remember, kapag may answer sa question na what, yung answer na yon yun ang ating direct object. At ang verb ay Action verb. Kasi may tumanggap ng action. Remember, the direct object receives the action of the transitive verb. Now, kapag walang action, uh, I mean, walang object, itong transitive verb ay hindi na siya nagiging, hindi na siya transitive verb. Siya ay nagiging intransitive verb. In this case, meron siyang object, by the way, pag sinabi natin object, Yan ay palaging noun, pwede rin maging pronoun. Basta siya ay object na tumatanggap ng action ng transitive verb. Now, in the next sentence, Rowena loves Ben. Our subject is Rowena. Our transitive verb is loves. And ang direct object ay Ben. Now, again, paano natin malalaman na ito ay direct object? Very simple. This time, it is not the question what, but rather who. Rowena loves who? The answer should be Ben. So, Ben ang ating direct object. At ang verb na loves ay transitive verb. Kapag walang answer sa question na who or what, then walang direct object at ang verb ay magiging intransitive verb. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang question na kailangan natin para malaman kung merong direct object. Ang una ay question na what, pag walang answer sa question na what, then ask who. Pag merong answer, yun ang ating Direct object. Okay, next. My mother cooks breakfast. Now here, our subject is mother. Transitive verb is cooks. And our direct object is breakfast. Again, paano natin malaman ito yung direct object? Again, we are going to ask the question what? Tatanungin natin ng what? My mother cooks what? The answer is breakfast. So, ang breakfast ang ang ating direct object. At ang cooks ay transitive verb kasi may tumatanggap ng action. Pag walang tumanggap ng action, 
ito ay magiging intransitive verb. Okay, next. Uh, pattern, we are going to discuss STV IO DO. Alright, and this next uh, pattern we have here STV IO DO, where S stands for subject, TV stands for transitive verb, IO stands for indirect object, and DO stands for direct object. Now, in this example, she gave her mother. A gift. Now, our subject here is Shira. And our transitive verb here is Game. This is our transitive verb. Now, in order to find the direct object, again, we are going to ask the question what? Itatanong natin ang question of what? Shira gave what? The answer is gift. Gift is our direct object. Kasi siya ang sagot sa question na what. And then, she gave a gift to whom? The answer is her mother. So, her mother is our indirect object. Now, remember, Ang indirect object ay kapalaging kasunod ng verb. At ito ay sumasagot sa tanong na para kang ino. So for example, she gave what? A gift. To whom? To her mother. So ito ang indirect object. Remember, notice ha, ang direct object natin ay nandito sa dulo. Ang verb ay nandito sa gitna at ang indirect object ay palagi na sa pagitan ng transitive verb at direct object. Palagi ito nandito. Now, kapag ito ay nilipat mo rito sa kabila, she gave a gift to her mother pag ganyan ang yari niya. To her mother Ang mangyayari ito ay wala na ito Ang mangyayari niyan she gave a gift to her mother ito ang direct object at itong mother ay magiging OP Ang tawag dyan ay object of the preposition to. Yan. Object of the preposition to. Ang pattern ay STV, DO, OP. Yun ang magiging pattern. Pero, kapag walang to her mother, dito ay her mother Ito ay indirect object. Yan. Indirect object siya. Okay. Next. She offered Tony a drink. Here. She is our subject. Offered is our transitive verb. And again, we are going to ask the question, what? She offered what? The answer is drink. Ito ang sagot sa question na what. Kaya ito rin ang ating direct object. Okay. Para kang ino. The answer is Tony. So Tony is our indirect object. Kapag ito ay nilipat ang dito, she offered a drink to Tony Pag nilipat natin yan dyan, ito ay magiging OP. Yan. OP, ibig sabihin, object of the preposition to. Pag tinanggal mo ito, nilipat mo rin sa kabila. Wala na siyang indirect object. Pero pag 
pa ganito lang, si ay STV IO DO. Okay. Next, he showed Lisa the answer. Our subject is he. Our transitive verb is show. This is our transitive verb. Now, again, itatanong ulit natin. He showed what? The answer is answer. Ito ang ating direct object. Kasi ang sumasagot sa question of what? He showed the answer to whom? Kanginin niya ipinakita. The answer is Lisa. So, Lisa is our indirect object. Kapag nilipat natin ito ron, ganun din. Magiging object of the preposition ito. Halimbawa, hindi nilipat natin dyan. To Lisa. Ito ay magiging OP. Ibig sabihin, object of the preposition to. Yan. Baka ganyan. Ang ganyan ito. He showed the answer to Lisa. So, ang mayiging pattern ay STV DOOP. Yan ang mayiging pattern. Okay? Next pattern. Alright. Here in our next pattern, we have is IV or is IV adverb. Where S stands for subject, IV stands for intransitive verb, and this one stands for adverb. Now, we have an example, she danced. Ang ating subject ay she. Our intransitive verb is dance. Now, papaw natin maalaman na ito ay intransitive verb. Again, we are going to ask the question what. She dance what? Nothing. Walang sagot. So, pag walang sagot sa question of what, ang verb ay intransitive verb. And then, pag nilagyan natin ito ng adverb, say for example, she dance gracefully. Ito ay magiging adverb. Ito, yan, adverb siya. So, ang pattern ay is I be adverb. Now, kapag may answer naman sa question na what, say for example, she dance what, nagkaroon dito ng answer. She dance tango. Ito, dahil meron na siyang answer sa question what, ito ay magiging direct object. At ito ay magiging transitive verb. Yan. Magiging transitive siya. Yan ang pakakaiba ng intransitive sa transitive verb. Mayroon tumagap dito ng action. Sa intransitive verb naman ay wala. So, dito, balik tayo sa dati, ito ay dance lang. She dance. Ito ang ating intransitive verb. Tandaan niyo kapag walang sagot sa question na what, itong verb ay intransitive verb. Remember, both intransitive verb and transitive verb are action verbs. Parehong action verb yan. Pero, pwedeng merong object, pwedeng wala. So, kapag walang object, ito ay intransitive verb. Kapag meron, magiging transitive verb. Okay, like this one. He plays. He plays what? Walang answer, kaya ito ay intransitive verb. Pinagtama ng si subject. Pero pagka nilagyan natin ito ng sa answer, he plays. So, for example, he plays uh, volleyball. Ayan. Meron ang sagot. Ito ay magiging intransitive verb. Ah, I magiging, mean, transitive. Magiging transitive na siya. At itong sagot sa question of what, ang ating direct object. 
So, balik tayo sa dating ano? She plays lang. Pag nagkaroon ng adverb, halimbawa, he plays perfectly. Ang pattern natin ay, ito magiging indirect object kasi ang perfectly ay hindi answer sa question na what. So, ito ay hindi noun. Siya ay adverb. No? Adverb na, na didescribe sa verb na place. So, this is adverb. Ang ating pattern ay is, I, the adverb. Okay. Next. Alright. Our last pattern is is, the, 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 o, o, c. Where S stands for subject. TV stands for transitive verb. DO stands for direct object. And object. OC stands for object complement. Now, in our first example, Abner calls Nina beauty. First, the first step is, first, we are going to ask the question, who? Abner calls who? The answer is, Nena. So, Nena is our direct object. Abner is our subject. And calls is our transitive verb. Remember, this is transitive verb. Ito ay transitive verb. Dahil may answer sa question na who. Abner calls who. The answer is Nina. Now, the next word, beauty, ito yung tinatawag natin na object complement. Paano naging object complement? Ang object complement ay Nag-describe o tumutukoy dito sa direct object o nagbibigay ng panibagong pangalan sa direct object. Abner calls who? Nina. Anong tawag kay Nina? Beauty. So, beauty is our object complement. Remember, ang object complement ay Noun o kaya adjective na nag-describe dito sa direct object. Okay, next example. The judges declared him winner. Again, we are going to find first the direct object. The judges declared who? The answer is him. So, ito ang ating direct object. Ang ating subject ay judges. And then, ang verb, ito ang transitive verb. Transitive verb siya kasi may answer sa question na who. And then, anong tawag dito sa him? Ha? Ang description niya ay winner. So, itong winner ang ating objective complement. Remember, ang object, object complement ay nag-describe sa direct object o nagbibigay ng panibagong pangalan dito sa direct object. So, ang ating OC ay ang winner. Okay. Last example. He considers her beautiful. Again, the first step is we are going to find the direct object. Hahanapin muna natin ang direct object. He considers who? Sino yun? Ito. Her. So, here is our Direct object. Our subject is he. Ang ating verb ay considers. This is our transitive verb. Again, transitive verb siya kasi may answer sa question na who. And then, anong tawag dito sa her? Remember, ang object complement ay nagbibigay ng panibagong pangalan o panibagong tawag dito sa direct object. Nag-describe siya rito. So, ito ang ating object complement. Very easy. Now, if you have learned in our lesson today, please don't forget to subscribe, like, click the notification bell, and share also para mas marami pang matuto. 
That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on my next video.